Hello and welcome. Hi guys, my name is Cowie, and on this channel I like to do subscription unboxings. So today I have a unboxing from Tamed Wild and I will link all of their information in the description box below. But this is what their box looks like. And then on the bottom of the box, it has tamedwild.com. And luckily for me, on this bottom, it says the box. It's a January's box. And without further ado, let's get to it. Okay. And I like to fold it over like that. This is what the box looks like right when we open it. And I'll take the sheets out and I will put this off to the side so that we can dig right into the box. Move that there. The first thing I see is a tamed wild sachet. So let's open that. Aw, oh, cute. I think there's one more thing in here. Oh, okay. It's just the plastic, but it looks like they gave us the High Priestess as a necklace. That's absolutely beautiful. Here, let me see if I can. The High Priestess. Beautiful. So I'll put that down here. Next thing I see is Rebirth Anointing Oil. It's from Daughters of Her. And it has fruit oil, grapeseed oil, uh, sunflower oil, comfrey extract, natural fragrance with essential oils of jasmine, neroli, bergamot, scotch pine, and tonka bean. So, let me go ahead and take, give that a sniff. So the scent that I get is, this is kind of a florally woodsy scent. So if you like florally woodsy, this is a very nice oil for that. Put that there. And then, we have some bubble wrap and what looks like um, herbs. So. It looks like they're giving us rose petals, mugwort, and lemon peel in these little cute vials. Cute. Okay. And these vials are glass. You can hear all the changing. Oh, and it looks like they're giving us a Lapidolite stone. So let's take a look at this stone really quick. Oh, so it's not just one stone. It's actually like little chips. So it's not one stone. It's tiny chips of lipidolite. Perfect. Very cute. And it says for lipidolite, it says, like most stones in the purple color family, Lapidolite encourages tranquility, rest, and relaxation. Keep in your bedroom to promote deep sleep and carry on your person when feeling anxious. That's very cute. Very cute. And it looks like they also give us a deep purple candle. I know it's kind of hard to see. It looks like it's black, but 
um, in person is just a really deep purple color. And it looks like that's all that's in the box. So let's get to the cards here. We'll start with this one. It says, calling in and connecting with the energy of the new year. Three vials, rose petals, mugwort, and lemon peel. Rose has been honored in herbalism for magic for centuries. According to folklore, the poetess uh, Sappho called Rose the Queen of Flowers and it was said to be a favorite of Cleopatra. Traditionally, rose has been used in herbal and folk medicines to soothe the stomach and also as a source of vitamin C. They're also known as support for a heartache or to tend to a frayed nervous system. Rose is closely associated with the goddess Aphrodite. Work with roses and spells and rituals of self-love and romance. I'll put that up so you can see it a little bit better. And you can pause here if you'd like to read it yourself or read it with me as I read it. Mugwort was given its name because in Europe the herb was originally used to flavor beer prior to hops. Historically, mugwort is used as an overall tonic because of its bitterness. It's been part of the long history of culinary traditions and also as incense and ceremony. Mugwort is considered a divinatory herb and has been used in lucid dreaming rituals or to enhance psychic ability. Lemon peel is known for its solar energy. Work with lemon peels to invigorate your creativity as a blessing on a relationship, in a ritual bath, or ritual foot bath if you don't have a tub, for clearing and to cast away cloudy days. In traditional herbalism, it's known for its uplifting properties and can be used to stimulate an appetite or as a flavor enhancement. The High Priestess Tarot Necklace. The High Priestess is a card that connects to the Divine Feminine, and not just the parts of the Divine that we can see, but rather the deeper, darker sides of this archetype. The High Priestess is mysterious and appears to remind us to listen to our own intuition, to remind us that sometimes we must withdraw to enrich our inner lives and to embrace our shadows, no matter what society has told us about them. Okay. Oh, I guess I was wrong. It is a black candle. Black bell top candle. Black candles are known for their magic and protection, ending a phase of your life, honoring the crone, banishing negativity or unwanted energy, and connecting to your inner strength. Ritual anointing oil by Daughters of Her. An anointing oil is an oil blend that helps to connect the human body with the divine. With roots in different uh, religious systems across the globe, Anointing oils have been used since ancient times, depending on your belief system. These oils can carry different meaning. Uh, though all these practices have different context, history, and story, they all carry a common thread. Anointing oils can be used as a part of a ritual process. Anointing oils can remind, of our own, remind us of our own divinity, holiness, and connection to the cosmos. One beautiful way to work with anointing oils is through ritual. A ritual is a practice that helps its practitioners connect with extreme presence. They can make us fully in the now. When working with anointing oil, first set an intention. What's the intention of your ritual? Then open your ritual space and become grounded. Then think about which pulse, chakra, chakra meridian points best support your intention, depending on your practice and relationship to your body in your practice. Apply the oil to these points. While well, taking a deep breath and thinking about your intention, say thank you as you finish your ritual practice and close the ritual. Stone. We don't believe that anything in the universe is random. This stone has made its way to you with a message. Keep it in your pocket or nearby and listen to what it may need to tell you. Stone magic can help you connect with your own intuition and inner, and inner knowing. So I'll let you go ahead and pause it here and read if you'd like. And it looks like the stone was intuitively drawn. So for me, it was lapidolite. So that's for this card. 
And then I have another card here, um, front and back, and it's about the ritual. The winter solstice conjures up images of softly lit candles, winter woods, and the year ahead. During this winter season, we are in the underworld, but we carry this light as we rest in the belly of winter. The winter months are a time of rest, withdrawing and cocooning against the urgency of a busy world. This time reminds us to disconnect for a bit and tend to our inner landscape and our intuition. After the winter solstice, the wheel continues to turn towards Imbolc on the Gregorian calendar. January 1st begins a new year. Working with the energy of the winter solstice, the new year Imbolc, and winter magic itself, this ritual is designed to call in and connect with the energy of the new year. And then it goes into the actual ritual itself. So what I'll do is I'll just let you guys take a picture of it. So go ahead and take a picture if you would like or screenshot this. And then I'm going to flip it over. And if you would like to partake in this ritual, you may... So here you go. All right. So I was wrong. This is a black candle, but it's beautiful. And that would be the tamed wild box for January. If you would like and subscribe to my channel, it really helps my channel. And I will see you in the next unboxing. Thank you. Bye.